Before beginning, please ensure you are aware of the guidance provided in the Safeguards for Confidentiality, Privacy, and Freedom of Inquiry, and the practical tips for conducting observational studies. This information and these forms are designed for the observation of patron behavior regarding a target, a promotional sign, an informational sign, a book display, a video monitor, or promotional collateral, such as a calendar handout. The purpose of the observations, as well as the schedule of observations, should be established as described in the Guidance on Planning an Observational Study document. Conducting observations can be mentally and or physically demanding, so it is best to keep observations to a one-hour span of time per observer. All observers on a project should coordinate together to ensure consistency of the data being recorded, particularly the physical space being observed and the code used for path designations. After reading these protocols entirely and before beginning the observing for the project, each observer will also need to take time to familiarize themselves with the map and code sheet and the instrument, which is the form used to record the data. This is best accomplished by doing a test run for several minutes complete with sketched map in the diagram box and code for recording how subjects travel past the target and recording subjects' behavior and their apparent demographic information until sufficient fluency with the codes is established so each observer can use the codes effectively under observation conditions. When conducting an observation, you should always have copies of the talking points about the project with you. You should also have your identification available but not displayed. Plan the first few observation periods during low traffic times in the library. Begin each observation by entering the date, start, and end times and location on the map and coding sheet. Establish the parameters of your observation data and sketch them into the appropriate box adding the location of doors, shelves, etc., as well as indicating the location of the observation targets and the potential pathways customers may use as they pass by the target. Use the lines below the diagram to designate a simple code for recording the path customers take as they pass your target. The code should be simple and clear. Consult the examples included. Be mindful of the guidance provided in the practical tips for conducting observational studies. As you observe subjects and fill out records for each subject who passes your observation target, it is very important that library patrons not be disrupted by your presence. If any patrons approach you or seem bothered by your activities, give them a copy of the talking points about the project. Heavy traffic times will keep observers busy but data from high use times can be quite valuable. If heavy traffic volume makes it impossible to accurately record data for every subject, then focus on recording details as accurately as possible for each full entry and note in the tally area at the bottom of the sheet how many subjects have been skipped while working on that sheet. Be as precise as possible. Record data until you reach your pre-selected time limit or number of patrons.